In this session, we're going to discuss survey themes and the built-in options available. I'm currently in the Build and Edit tool for this particular project. I'm clicking on Survey Settings on the top left, then I'm going to click on Theme. The Theme card will open up in the main window, and from here, I can see what my active theme is. If I wanted to change this to a built-in theme that I have in my theme library, I can simply scroll down to the bottom and pick any of these built-in options that are available to anybody across the CMix platform. So if I want to switch to CMix Dark, maybe I like this particular theme, just click on Activate. And now if I scroll back up, you'll see that is the currently active theme. Now you can modify this as you see fit by clicking on Edit CSS. This will give you the raw CSS for the entire survey theme. You can modify this as you see fit for any part of the project whatsoever. At the bottom, I can actually name this to be something that makes sense to me. I'll just type in test one and just click as on save as new theme. Let's make believe I make I made some actual changes to it. If I again scroll down to the bottom, I can click on the survey themes this time, and I can see that this theme has been saved to this specific project. So this is only available to this particular survey. If I then wanted to make this particular theme available to everybody else in my organization, I can click on edit CSS. I can maybe label it something that makes sense. Maybe I can label it as uh, a BC company theme. I can click on the share to company option and then click on save as new theme. What will happen now is in the, the shared themes this ABC Co theme will appear. So now this is available to anybody tied to my organization, which has built in edit access. So as long as I have permissions to be able to use the authoring piece of the system, I can come here, go to my shared theme, and select and activate the particular theme that's already been created by somebody else in the organization, or maybe even myself to activate for this particular survey. So this way I don't have to recreate the wheel. I've already created this theme for other projects. It's already in use. I can just come here, activate it, and now it's tied to this survey as well. There is also a link to an article on the top right to show how to add a survey logo to your survey. So if you want to brand it, you can just follow the directions tied to this particular article up here. That's the basic way to do it. Very, very um, easy process to, to follow, uh, which is a link to our knowledge base. So you can utilize that. Or if you wanted to, the other option is to actually use CSS and build it directly into the survey theme so you don't have to think about it. So once you activate the theme, if the CSS is there and you're using an image or a logo and place it wherever you wanted to, using that theme, it will be then available there as well. So those are a couple ways to also add a logo to your theme. This has been a quick tutorial on how to modify and manage your theme.